On this episode of Dusty Road Adventures, I get to check out Nuji Bridge and then try and set up a new tent by the river and then cook lunch on a small wood-fired oven and then basically make my way home afterwards. Enjoy the episode. Trobe State Park so and that road goes for miles so that kind of heads towards Woods Point um, which will take us about an hour and a half or so to get there and I'm not particularly wanting to go that way having a bit of a look around so I thought I'll check it out have a look all right I think I found a good campsite let's check it out show you around there's a few people here already so I've got one down there and a swag we've got the river just down there and a couple of more swags just up here and I think I might set up shop just here I've already got the camp stool out as you can see this is a brand new tent never been out of the bag so it looks pretty easy so let's see how hard, hard I can actually the flies out here are huge you can almost put a saddle on them So we're just going to go look for some Kindle and uh, get lunch started. So it's taken me about an hour and a half to get here from home, uh, but it was a pretty cruisy ride, basically riding through Jembrook, uh, and then just taking it easy. Wasn't in any rush, I got all day, uh, but it's absolutely gorgeous out here, I'll show you. How nice is that? How pretty is that? So I wanted to show you what I picked up, uh, which I ordered through from Nay at uh, Biker Bits. So I picked up this little brown bag and you're wondering what's in the little brown bag well it's a wood fired camp oven so when you get it it's usually covered in uh, this blue shrink wrap uh, so I just spent last night just peeling it off except for around the joints but I figured they'll burn off and you wouldn't believe that these giant flies have followed me so uh, pretty much all you got to do open it up now there's a little uh, grid just on here, it's, that's the base. So you just pull that open. Now, if you like a lot of people I've seen on the internet, you get this little drip tray, it does not go in that. Okay, 
So goes in here. Like so. That easy. So I've got the camp oven loaded up with a little bit of twigs just to kind of get it started. But there's a crucial point I wanted to point out. So it comes with these, the grid at the top comes with these little uh, flips, I guess you can call. Um, and I actually loop them over the, uh, the little carry handles to stop the tray from sliding around. Like so. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it uh, falling off, sliding off, burning yourself, whatever. The point out as well, so I'm cooking on an Australian grade ex military Dixie. So, uh, yeah, so this is going to do the trick. And today's lunch basically tortellini, three cheese, sun dried tomato, and bacon. Never had it before, we'll see. So, but uh, this is like four dollars compared to what you pay at Anaconda for those other meals for like 20 bucks. Yeah, screw that. <laughs> Alright, so it's taken a little while to get going, but I've got it smoking up, a little bit of flame, it's been cooking for a while, uh, so I've just put the uh, pasta on the, on the uh, Dixie, so, alright, so it's going to take a little while to heat up, and then dig in. Mm -hmm. 